Hello and welcome to another Primera Physics lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about the top-down estimation by Primera Physics. As you see here, I have a project. It is a sample one and I assign a budget labor unit about the 7,192 budget hours and also I assign the zero budgeted hours for the non-library unit. Now, some of the times during the project creation, you don't have the exact value for each of the tasks, but your task is well sorted based on the relationship and duration. You want to assign the budgeted hours and also somehow the cost to the project. So. You don't have the exact estimation for each of them. With these items, the Primera P6 provides you one solution. It's not very accurate, but it is better than you spend too much time in order to assign all this information to your system. First, the first section is you need to go to the resource tab, then assign the resources to your task. I did it before, before because of the time. Now, I go to the tools menu. Over here, I have the top-down estimation. Now, I want to first assign the estimated non-labor unit. How much uh, non-labor unit I want to assign it? First, I select the WBS over here. For instance, I select the HVAC on the WBS. Then, which resource you should able to find your resource. If the resource pool is very crowded like mine, you should go to the display all, then filter by current project resources. Then you will see that only the current project resource. Now I add this non-labor to my resource. I want to assign a thousand estimated hours for this one, then it gonna be adjust apply with zero percentage variances now I want to apply it the project estimated has been applied successfully now if I want to looking for my non labor you will see that it's gonna be applied with a little variance over here you can adjust it with by your own so, in this case, I have the non-labor over here. If you want to look at the labor unit, already I have 7,192 budgeted hours, but I want to again go to the tools menu from the top down estimation. I want to pick up the labor one. Then I want to add the engineering on my filter and which resource I want to add the resource for labor one then estimated hours is 500 hours and I want to apply it now if you look at this it's gonna be applied over here it's changed to the 500 if you want to change it again, for instance, you want to add it to the thousand. If you apply it, then it's going to be changed again to the thousand. So it is very easy. You can apply it, change it. It's going to be distributed the information based on your requirement. But look at it, it's going to be split the budget hours based on the section of the WBS. If you look at this over here, I have two activities. So it's going to be redistributed the budget hours for each of the tasks separately and equally. It's not very exact and accurate. Uh, the system for uh, assign the budget hours to the activities but it's very uh, good for the 
first step of the project implementation because you don't need to put too much time and effort to do it when your data going to be completed you can modify your data again i hope this lesson is useful for you thank you for watching global project control I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.